It happens once a year. It's a birthday celebration that takes us back over a century to the birth of Las Vegas in 1905. The streets of downtown Las Vegas turn into the wild, wild west. It's the Helderado Days Parade. The word Helderado came from prospectors coming to the area in search for gold. It's a play on the term Eldorado, which is a fabled, legendary city in South America rich in treasure that explorers have hunted to find. Instead of treasure, though, out west they found extreme heat and poor paying jobs, making it Helderado instead. It all started in 1935. While construction on the Boulder Dam wrapped up, Las Vegas officials were worried about losing its residents and tourism. In an attempt to keep people coming to town, they began branding Las Vegas as a last frontier, wild west kind of town. With that brand came a four-day celebration around the city's birthday. The local Elks Lodge put the festival together with support from local businesses and the Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce. With that, the first Helderado Days Festival was born. In that original Helderado Days parade, people rode on horses and in carts and wagons and dressed up as cowboys, prospectors, and women wore full skirted dresses to ride down the two mile length of the parade. All of this, even though Las Vegas was never a frontier town as pictured in the Western movies. The Western theme was all a marketing campaign to attract tourism, and it worked. That first year was such a success that they decided to make it an annual family-friendly event the idea was to turn it into a tradition that helped people show their Las Vegas community spirit and maybe entice people to stay in town rather than move on once the dam was completed. Every year, the parade got bigger and more well-known and not only enticed people to stay in Las Vegas, but also attracted visitors from out of town. It got so popular that in 1946, a Western movie called Hell Dorado starring Roy Rogers and Dale Evans was made using the parade as a backdrop. Some of the attractions that took place over the years were marching band performances, a rodeo, a beauty contest, and of course, awards given for the best floats of the parade. Both local businesses and the hotels on the Strip took part in putting together floats for the event, some of which would go all out. From a diving board into a pool to ice skating, check out these floats from the Sands Hotel. Some of these are crazy. One of the most bizarre contests of the festival though, the Whiskerino Contest, a contest in which people would try and grow the longest and most unique beards and mustaches. In the late 1990s, the festival went away for some time due to cost outpacing the festival's demand. In celebration of the city's 100th birthday, however, the festival made its return in 2005 with the help from the Las Vegas Centennial Commission. Since that historic birthday, it has remained an annual tradition. Hildorado does not have that modern flair of what people now know Vegas to be, but instead, it's a tradition that takes Vegas back to its historic roots. Over the years, the festival has become a source of community pride and having hometown fun. Even though the Wild West might not be Las Vegas' history, it's still a fun way to celebrate the West, the spirit of its past, and Las Vegas' birthday.